I found 15 of the easiest ways that you can make money online on a daily basis. Many of these websites, you can start making money doing virtually nothing. You think I'm joking? Well, let's start off first talking about an app and website called Honeygain that literally lets you earn as much as $184 per month of passive income without having to do any work. So basically the website will pay you money for sharing your internet. I know that sounds kind of weird, so let me explain. You start off first by installing the app either on your phone, tablet, or laptop, or all of your devices if you wanna make more money. And the app uses your internet in the background to get small bits of information from the web. Now, I already know what some of you tinfoil hat people out there are thinking. That sounds suspicious. And when I first heard about it, I thought so too. But hear me out. Honeygain only uses your internet connection and all of your personal data stays completely untouched. The small bits of information being collected from your internet connection are only being used by credible businesses around the world for things like web statistics, price comparison, and other verified business processes. Now, as I mentioned, you can make up to $184 per month by doing this. And the best part is you don't have to do a single piece of work except install the app on your phone or on as many devices as you want. And the more devices you install the app on, the more money you can make. And if you sign up using the link down below in the description, then you'll get a $5 bonus just for signing up. I'll give this one a two out of 10 on the honey scale. I mean, money scale. Now, we all know that you're not gonna get rich by doing online surveys. However, that doesn't mean that you still can't make money by doing them. And Swagbucks is a survey website that lets you make money by doing a variety of tasks. For example, you can make money by browsing the internet, taking surveys, watching videos online, playing games, and even for simply uploading your in-store grocery receipts. This is a perfect website to use to make some extra cash during your free time at lunch, during your morning or afternoon commutes, and when you're laying down in bed at night watching Netflix. If you're using a mobile device, Swagbucks is available for both Apple and Android devices. But to get started, first click on the link down below in the description and sign up through the website so that you can get a $10 welcome bonus just for signing up. Many users have reported earning anywhere from $50 to $100 per month, with top earners earning as much as $2,000 per year for playing games, watching videos, and taking surveys. That's definitely not bad, but still nothing compared to the later websites on the list. I'll give this one a two out of 10 on the money scale. Something else that you can do to make easy money is participate in market research. Basically, you can get paid to participate in studies that are mostly done online and they'll usually only take between 15 minutes to an hour to complete. Sites like User Interviews, Respondent, Survey Junkie, Focus Group, and Apex Focus Groups are all examples of sites that pay you to participate in market research. Typically though, to be a part of this market research, you'll have to answer questions about your demographics, your past purchases and buying habits, and products and services that you would recommend. A couple of years ago, I actually personally tested Survey Junkie for a blog post that I was writing on my website, The Investor Post. And after taking one of the surveys, I was asked if I wanted to participate in some market research involving fast food. And of course, I said yes. I then received a phone call about an hour later from some big marketing firm in New York asking if I'd be willing to go to Arby's and then buy their new chicken strips and eat them and give my honest feedback about the chicken strips. In return for my time, they would pay me $100. And so not only did I get to enjoy some pretty tasty chicken strips from Arby's, but about a week later, I received a $100 check from the company. On average though, it's not unusual to make about $100 per month doing market research. And depending on how active you are, you can easily make a lot more. But it's extremely easy to do, requires very minimal effort, and you can do it all from the comfort of your home. And for that reason, I'll give it a two out of 10 on the money scale. If you're a human, then chances are you probably receive a lot of junk mail and junk emails. But what if there was a way for you to turn your junk mail into cash? <laughs> yeah, just like that. Well, fortunately, the Small Business Knowledge Center is a website that will pay you for your junk mail and emails. There's a long list of the types of junk mail and emails that they'll accept. But if you look through this list, you'll see that they accept about virtually everything. The way it works is you sign up and if you're accepted, you'll start sending them your junk mail and emails that fit the categories. And then they'll pay you in the form of rewards that you can then go and redeem for Visa gift cards, which is basically the same as cash. Now, depending on your location and your demographic, there may be limited space for you to join. But if you can't join now, then there is a wait list. But once a spot becomes available, then you'll be immediately notified, which is typically pretty frequently. Now, on average, frequent participants will earn about $20 every six to 10 weeks. It's obviously not a ton of money, but you're getting paid for sending junk mail that you would otherwise be throwing in the trash. Plus, if you combine this method with some of the others on this list, then you can end up making a lot of money. I'm giving turning junk mail into cash a three out of 10 on the money scale. Another very easy way to make money is with Webull. Now, Webull 
is technically an investing app. However, you don't have to invest to make money with Webull. If you simply use the link in the description below and sign up with Webull and then create an account and deposit just one penny, you'll receive 12 free stocks valued up to $36,000. No joke. And while you're at it, you might as well consider beginning to invest and specifically invest in dividend stocks or ETFs that pay you money just for owning the stock. I'll give free stocks valued up to $36,000 using the link below a three out of 10 on the money scale. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, go ahead and drop a like down below for the YT algo and subscribe to the channel. I would appreciate it so much. So this next website is definitely not going to be for everyone, but it does fit the criteria of being easy money that you can make online. And that is joining an online jury using websites like eJury and onlineverdict.com. So a jury, if you're not familiar, is a group of people who are summoned and sworn in to make findings of facts and ultimately decide a verdict for a trial. And as an e-juror, your job is exactly that, except doing it from the comfort of your home. Most cases will look like this. A few paragraphs explanation of the event with diagrams followed up with a set of jury questions. Now, this definitely is not going to make you rich, but on average, you can earn about five to $10 per case. And on average, each case takes about 45 minutes. Not bad, but there are better ways to make easy money online with these next websites on the list. I'll give this one a three out of 10 on the money scale. Amazon Mechanical Turk or just MTurk for short is a crowdsourcing marketplace created by Amazon that makes it easier for individuals and businesses to outsource their processes and jobs to somebody else who can perform them virtually. You can earn easy money in your spare time and get paid for completing simple tasks. Tasks can include you doing things like transcription services, giving feedback about websites or apps, surveys, machine learning tasks, audio editing, and more. These tasks are also known as human intelligence tasks or HITs, and they typically require responses that only a human can provide. Now, I've gotta be honest with you guys. There are a ton of mixed reviews about MTurk. Some people are claiming to only make less than $1 per hour using the service, while other people are saying it's pretty common for them to make between $150 and $300 per week. And from all the research that I've done, if you're making anything less than $100 per week with MTurk, then you're either not completing enough tasks or you're potentially doing tasks wrong, thus voiding any payouts. Whatever the case though, in my opinion, MTurk is totally worth it, especially if you're strapped for cash and willing to use your free time to complete simple tasks. I'm giving MTurk a four out of 10 on the money scale. What if there was a way for you to make money online and get cash back while you shop? Obviously, because of how I'm setting it up, you know that the next sentence out of my mouth is gonna be me saying, there is a way. Rakuten is a cash back browser extension and app that lets you make money by getting cash back at thousands of stores. I've personally been using Rakuten for about two years now, and over the course of those two years, I've literally earned thousands of dollars in cash back that I otherwise would have never earned if I wasn't using Rakuten. Using it is very simple. If you're on a laptop or desktop computer, you can just use the browser extension. And when you're shopping online like you normally do, Rakuten works in the background to find you cash back deals. And so it's not like you're having to do any extra work because when Rakuten finds a deal for you, it'll pop up and tell you to activate the cash back offer. And that's it, just one click and you're earning cash back on your purchases. Plus Rakuten does have an app for Apple and Android devices. Getting started is super easy and I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description. And if you sign up using that link, then you'll get a $10 welcome bonus after you spend your first $25 using Rakuten. And there really is no limit to how much you can earn with Rakuten. Now, I guess it all depends on how much online shopping you're actually doing, but most people report earning anywhere from $100 to $1,000 plus per year in cash back. Getting paid for doing something that you would already be doing anyways, Sounds pretty easy to me. I'll give it a four out of 10 on the money scale. This might be really hard to believe, but massive search engines like Google actually aren't fully automated by algorithms. In fact, there are actually people working behind the scenes to help organize Google's billions of search result pages, and those people are called search engine evaluators. Your job as a search engine evaluator is to make informed decisions about websites, music videos, songs, images, maps, and other data, and rating them for completeness, accuracy, and other factors. The job requires virtually no experience, and the only thing that that you need to get started is a smartphone and some type of personal computer, either a desktop computer or a laptop. To get started, click on the link in the description of this video, which will then lead you to this page here where you can apply. You'll be asked to download an app on your smartphone to complete the work, and you'll also need to be willing to commit at least 10 hours per week worth of work set to your schedule. And so if you wanted to, you could set it up so that you work like two hours per night, Monday through Friday, that's 10 hours per week, or if you wanted to work more often, you can do that as well. But on average, search engine evaluators can make about $17 per hour. And considering that you set your own schedule and you can work whenever and wherever you want, I would say this is a pretty easy way to make good money online. And for that reason, I'm giving this a five out of 10 on the money scale. A very underrated way of making money online is by making and selling printables. 
hear me out. On websites like Etsy, printables are one of the most popular categories that can make the most money. And printables can range from anything to wall art, calendars, planners, birthday cards, and a lot more. Now, what makes printables such a powerful and easy way to make money online is for one, even if you aren't an artist, there are still a ton of free resources and tools that you can use to find free illustrations and designs to make your printables with. And so they're very easy to make, but second, they're also a great source of passive income. You see, because printables are digital products, meaning that when some Somebody buys it from you on Etsy, you're not having to do any additional work to sell that product. They're just buying a file from you and you could, in theory, sell that file an infinite amount of times. Now, how much money you can make selling printables online depends on a variety of factors. But just understand that there's people making a few thousand dollars per year doing this and there's also people making well over a million dollars plus per year. How much you end up making is all going to depend on your ability to find popular printables that people actually want to buy and then putting in the work to make as many of these printables as you can because the more you have out there, the further your reach is. But I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10 on the money scale. Even if you didn't go to school to be a teacher and you have no experience, with sites like QKids, you can start teaching English online to kids around the world. QKids connects over 1 million international students between the age of 6 and 12 with online teachers, stay-at-home parents, college students, and really anyone who has a passion for teaching. And the qualifications for this are very simple. For starters, you need to be a native English speaker, either based in the US or Canada. It also helps if you have some type of bachelor's degree in any Anything, or you're enrolled in college at the moment. Additionally, you need to be able to teach at least six hours per week at a minimum. But that's it. Like I mentioned, even if you don't have any teaching experience or you didn't go to school to be a teacher, you can still make money with QKids. QKids teachers can earn anywhere from $18 to $20 per hour, with the majority of teachers earning $20 per hour. And the good thing about this is that you can either choose to do it part-time in addition to your full-time job, or you can just do it full-time and have it replace your current full-time job. It's completely up to you, but regardless, I think it's an easy way to make make good money online and for that reason I'm giving it a 6 out of 10 on the money scale. I've talked about how you can make some pretty good money doing usability tests online in the past but I think I've always only mentioned one website and that's usertesting.com. However, I recently discovered even more websites that pay just as well. Betatesting.com, userzoom.com, and userlytics.com. All of these websites allow you to join and make money by doing usability tests. These tests can be you trying out new apps, websites, and even physical hardware. And in most cases, the only thing that you need to get started is a computer. Now, some sites like usertesting.com will require that you have a webcam and a microphone because they want to be able to see your reaction and hear what you have to say about the app or website or product as you're testing it. But most of these websites are only going to require that you have a computer and obviously an internet connection. You can earn anywhere from $10 to $100 per test with most of these websites. And most tests will take between 15 and 30 minutes and 45 minutes to an hour for the higher paying tests. Now, considering how easy this work is to do, I'm actually really surprised Surprised that it pays as well as it does. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10 on the money scale. So this money making idea is very niche and it's something that's in very high demand but not a lot of people are doing the service. You've likely heard of Pinterest. It's extremely popular and has been consistently growing year after year since it was founded in 2010. Many businesses use Pinterest as a way to promote themselves. In fact, basically every pin that you see on Pinterest is likely some type of promotion. It could be promotion for a blog post or a product or a service or anything. And so a lot of business businesses rely on Pinterest as a main source to funnel traffic into their website. And in most cases, these businesses are outsourcing this work to other people and it can be pretty lucrative. For starters, you don't need to be a professional graphic designer to make money doing this. Sites like Creative Market and Envato Elements have thousands of pre-made Pinterest templates that you can use to create eye-catching pins. Additionally, sites like Canva have thousands of templates as well. And then you can go to sites like Fiverr and Upwork and create gigs around making pins. And so not only will you have long-term clients that will continue to pay you, but you'll also have a continued pipeline of new clients coming in because your gig is posted on sites like Fiverr and Upwork. On average though, when you're first getting started, it's not unusual to make between $500 and $1,000 per month. But if you've been doing this for a while and you've built up your clientele, then there's no reason that you can't earn up to six figures per year from the comfort of your home. All in all though, if you enjoy being creative and you especially enjoy scrolling through Pinterest, then this may be worth trying. I'm giving it an eight out of 10 on the money scale. A lot of people think that blogs are dead, that you can no longer make money from them. However, blogs are more popular right now, today, than they have ever been before. And there are a ton of people making five, six, even seven figures per year with a blog. Anytime you search for a question on Google, or you're trying to do some research about a product, or you're trying to find a good recipe, nine times out of 10, you're likely clicking on someone else's blog. And when you click onto their blog, you're probably seeing ads on the page, and you may even click on links from the blog that lead you to products on Amazon that you then buy. And every 
time you do this, that blog is making money. Now, you're probably thinking, yeah, but Joshua, starting a blog is hard. And I can assure you that the hardest part of starting a blog is actually following through and writing the blog post. But the trick here is to choose a topic that you're passionate about so that you'll actually enjoy writing. For example, when I started my blog, The Investor Post, I wrote about personal finance topics. And I love talking about personal finance. And so I got a lot of joy out of writing my blog posts. And so the important thing is just to actually find something that you enjoy talking about and blog about that. Now, as I mentioned, how much money you make with your blog really depends on a lot of factors. But if you actually took it serious, you took the time to learn about SEO so that you can get your blog post to rank on Google, then it wouldn't be unusual for you to earn five, six, even seven figures per year with your blog. Now, if you want a more in-depth guide on how exactly to start a blog from start to finish, I've got a massive 12,000 word guide on how exactly you can start a blog step by step. It's completely free and I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. And because of this massive potential, I'm giving blogging a nine out of 10 on the money scale. This last one here is gonna catch a lot of you off guard. What if I were to tell you that there was a way for you to make as much as $4,000 per day on YouTube without showing your face, without talking and doing very little work by making ambient videos. Now, I already know, it sounds like a massive scam and I can already hear people in the comment section saying, well, Joshua, if you can make that much money doing it, then why aren't you making those videos? Well, because I enjoy making the types of videos that I make on my channel and so I'll leave the ambient videos up to you. Basically, ambient videos are things like this. Right, it's literally just videos of sounds that you would normally hear in the real world, except in a video. And these videos are extremely easy to make. And as you can see, these types of videos get millions, tens of millions, sometimes even hundreds of millions of views. But how much can you actually make from these videos? Well, let's take this channel here, Relaxing White Noise, as an example. I'm gonna head over to Social Blade and enter Relaxing White Noise. And Social Blade will give me an estimate of how much money this channel is making every day. Now, I just wanna say that I know for a fact that these estimates are way, way off. More realistically, we can probably assume that this channel is actually making double what Social Blade is actually showing. Now, I'm likely gonna be coming out with a video soon about how exactly you can start a channel making these types of videos. It's gonna be a step-by-step -step video that shows you exactly how to do it. And so if that's something that you're interested in, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and drop a comment down below saying, yes, I'm interested in learning how to make ambient videos, and maybe even add like a heart emoji to the end of it or something so that I know that you mean it. Anyways, by making ambient videos, videos on YouTube, you can make anywhere from a few thousand dollars per year to as much as one million plus dollars per year. And so obviously for that reason, I'm giving this a 10 out of 10 on the money scale. If you have not already dropped a like down below for the YT Algo or subscribe to the channel, please do both those things. It would mean the absolute world to me. And remember the links to all these things that we talked about today are down in the description below. Hey, you guys are truly amazing. I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day or night. And as always, I will see you again very soon. Take care.